And a very good Thursday evening to you. I'm Jared Anderson. On the show tonight, we continue our season preview of Wyoming Cowboy football. Yesterday on the show, we had the opportunity to preview the Wyoming Cowboy offense with offensive coordinator Brent Vegan, Cowboy quarterback Josh Allen, and senior offensive lineman Chase Roulier. Tonight on the show, we flip it over to the defensive side of the football. We're going to hear from defensive coordinator Steve Stanard here in just a few seconds. A little bit later in the show, we'll hear from free safety sophomore, Wyoming's leading tackler last year, Andrew Wingard. And we'll also hear from another sophomore defensive in Carl Granderson, who could have a big season for the Pokes. A little bit later on in the show, we'll get to some other sports notes, give you an Olympic and Colorado Rockies update. But first, as promised, our Wyoming defense preview kicks off with defensive coordinator Steve Stannard. Here was my conversation with Coach Stannard on Monday at University of Wyoming Fall Sports Media Day in Laramie. All right, Coach, first of all, uh, thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it. Uh, how was your offseason? Did you get any chance to relax? Oh, you know, it's always hard not to be thinking about football even when you're on vacation. But, uh, yeah, got a chance to uh, spend some time with the family in, in, here in July, and it's nice to uh, get to do that because – you know, starting uh, yesterday, don't see him much here for a few months. Going way back to spring camp, what did you see out of the defense as a whole? Were you encouraged coming out of spring camp? You know, I thought these guys really applied themselves well uh, in the off season during the winter in the weight room. Uh, they got bigger, they got stronger. Uh, and they, they applied themselves in the meeting room on their on their own time. To, to really continue to develop and, and understand the concepts of what we do defensively that carried over into the spring. Uh, I thought they had a, a really productive spring, and I think this summer they really worked their tails off this summer, and uh, I thought today was, uh, was uh, an encouraging first day. What do you need to see this August before that first game week to feel confident going into the Northern Illinois week? Well, you know, I'm always anxious to get the pads on to see, you know, how the the weight room carries over into into the field. As far as uh, you know, we're, we're bigger and we're stronger. Hopefully, we play bigger and stronger uh, up front. Um, you know, linebacker wise, you know, hopefully we continue to uh, develop. You know, guys like DJ and Lucas Waka and some of those younger backers, and then you know, at the back end. You know, we had four, I think it was four freshmen back there uh, starting. And so those guys are all sophomores and experienced guys. And I think they will uh, uh, continue to, to improve through fall camp. You mentioned DJ May. I probably asked you this last year too, but that transition offense to defense, how difficult is that? And does DJ just kind of make it look natural as athletic as he is? Well, here's the thing, you know, I think we're, we're starting to see is we're starting to get more and more speed on the field. Guys like Kevin Prosser and DJ May and Carl Granderson, and I'm just naming a few and Dewey, you know, guys that catch up because sometimes it isn't always perfect the fits and and sometimes there's a gap open but you got to have guys that can run run them down and give us a chance to get lined up again and dj certainly does that he's certainly more comfortable uh everything isn't brand new because you know dj missed the spring ball and so really all he had last year was fall camp and so every day was a learning experience for him and i think uh, dj's really applied himself um i think dj wants to be an all-around linebacker in a, in a nickel, not just uh, just a running back who's playing defense. The other individual note, got to mention uh, Andrew Wingard. You've had the opportunity to be around great athletes, a lot of great freshmen in your career, I'm sure. But where does Wingard's freshman season rank among first years for a guy that you've seen? Well, you know, when we signed him, we thought we, we got, had somebody special. Um, but we really, probably didn't realize how special until we had him in fall camp and realized how well he learned uh, as a football, he's a football player. He understands the game, and then he puts his body in really good position. You know, he's an all-around athlete. Uh, did all the sports. He's a great skier, and so he really always has a solid base underneath him, which allows him to be a really good tackler. And uh, you know, he is another one of those guys that can make a bad play, uh, give us a chance to get him line, uh, get him down, and get us lined up again. I know you don't care what media says in the off season, but. Uh, general consensus kind of is much improved but a difficult schedule does that schedule concern you at all or are you concerned with that right now well i guess we got a great opportunity northern illinois is a solid program uh you know coach mallory and myself both coached in the mac and we know i uh, got a lot of respect for that football program it's a great challenge to see where we are uh right out of the gate it's nice to have them here and then obviously we get to go to lincoln uh, and have another uh great opportunity to play a, a team that uh 
it was in a similar situation as far as improving. And uh, I was being anxious to see which programs improve the most when we go to Lincoln. Final question for you. You've been in Wyoming for a while. Do you have a, a favorite part so far of the Wyoming experience, just living here and being in the uh, the community? Well, I'm, I'm the fortunate one in that I recruit Wyoming, and so I get to see every corner of the state. I go to every high school, and I just, I just love the state of Wyoming. I love the people. They're very, very gracious, and they really re have reached out to us. And we appreciate that. And then I know my wife and kids, we really are enjoying Laramie. Uh, my kids are having an opportunity to do so many things that uh, you live in a bigger town, you don't get those opportunities to go to three sports in one day. You know, you gotta, you gotta pick one. And so, in the activities they get to be involved in, uh, we uh, are really enjoying Laramie. Coach, best of luck this season. Thanks for the time. Thanks, appreciate it. Always fun to catch up with Steve Stannard, defensive coordinator for the Wyoming Cowboys. Like I said, should be some great individuals on defense for the Pokes. We'll see if they can kind of put it all together this year, despite being very young overall. Got a brutal schedule for the Cowboys. They kick it off against Northern Illinois to start the year Saturday, September 3rd. And on that note, I'll also mention on that opening weekend, our annual Cowboy kickoff concert and pep rally at War Memorial Stadium featuring country music superstar Kip Moore, Wyoming native Josh Dorr, the Western Thunder Marching Band, cheerleaders, spirit squad, coaches, and athletes will speak. Plus, there's food trucks and a beer garden again this year. The ultimate way to celebrate the return of Wyoming Cowboy football season. You can grab your tickets and all the details at CowboyKickoff.com. CowboyKickoff.com. Also, our station's website has an opportunity for you to be our VIPs for the weekend with tickets to the pep rally, tickets to the football game, backstage access, and two nights in a hotel in Laramie. And again, that's on our station's website. We'll continue our defensive preview tonight of Wyoming Cowboy football. We'll hear from free safety sophomore Andrew Wingard coming up in seconds on Wyoming Sportsline.